Good evening, this is the Oscar expert here with Brother Bro. It's time for the SAG nominations. You know, we, we may have had the Critics' Choice, a culmination of all the Critics' Awards, and the Golden Globes, a small voting body, but here we get that nice, real voter overlap that we're looking for. Yeah, and it's, I'm, re I'm really, really ready to fuck, fuck me up with these. They're quite important. This is pretty obvious we think is happening, but what will happen? In that ensemble category, we know that's always fucked. And now it's time for our motion picture nominee. Uh, Okay. Kate Blanchett, Nightmare Alley. Yeah! Ah! Diana DeBose, West Side Story. Kirsten Dunst, The Power of the Dog. Ruth Nega, in passing. Andrew New Ellis! Is that Andrew New Ellis? Andrew New Ellis! Is that the How oh, did you know that? He would drink and no Shut up, fuck up! Standing performance by a male actor in a supporting role. The I feel like there was something else going on. Ben Affleck. No Marley Batman. Ben Affleck! Bradley! Wait a minute. No! 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 Oh, you can't! No! 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 What? What? Wait, are you Mr. Stewart is gone! Are you Mr. Stewart? Wait a minute! 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 I want my mommy! Wait a minute! I want my mommy! Wait a second, bitch! Wait, shut the fuck up! Wait up. They did Denzel Washington. We missed even, everybody. We missed actor. We missed Shut everybody. Shut up, we're ensemble. Chris, James, Stewart. Belfast. Belfast still got ensemble. Coda. 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 Don't look up. Don't look up. House of Gucci. House of Gucci. God! What? What? And King Richard. <laughs> what? No power of the dog. No West Side Story. <laughs> what else? What else? Stop, shut them up. Shut them up. Shut them up. Shut them up. Wait, what else? Ah, uh, I don't know how to use We got four and five, I'll tell you that, bitch. We got four okay, and five. Okay, but what else? No, no, the harder, harder they fall. fall. That's, that's not like... That's I really thought... I was like convinced that we get Wait, it. Wait, go. I need to see what they did. Okay, we don't wait. know what they did in Hector. I need House to of who? Supporting actor was so fucked. Oh so fucked. Bradley oh Cooper god. got in. Oh my god. <laughs> Bradley Cooper oh. got in. And Kate Blanchett for Nightmare. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Shh. We need to know what happened in lead actor. How did they not nominate Heinz or Gordon? I, I, wait. Did Twitter they really sub me. Kristen Stewart? Did Twitter. that actually fucking happen? Or is this like a, a, an illusion? Sag for best actor. <sighs> no. no. Shut up. 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 Give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Javier Bardem in being of the Ricardos. Javier Bardem in being the Ricardo at the expense of whom? Dinklage? Dinklage? Really? Dinklage. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Dinklage. Give me that. It's wet. I don't care. I'm going to hold it by the top. Did they actually snub Kristen Stewart? Yeah. They actually snubbed yeah. Kristen Stewart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they did. Holy yeah, they fucking, fucking did. God. Yes. Yes, they oh. fucking did. Oh. Stupid dumbasses! Too loud, buddy. Wait, who's the other one? Well, there's bit. another that category we need too to know. We, we live in a civilized society. We live in a building. People are gonna think this thing's happening. Sun, Sun Ensemble, Black Widow, Dune, Matrix, No Time to Die, Shang Chi, No West Side Story. You you switched that at the last minute. You shit. I know, I know. I switched you for Matrix. That was bad of me. That was bad. You would have had literally top five. You would have had five. No, you're wrong. Five. No one. I didn't predict Black Widow, fucker. I predicted No Way Home. Oh yeah, and that's not there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, No Way Home. It's see, No Way Home is not actually like that technically well done, but it's so popular. So I'm curious, like, is it going to get a visual effects nomination? Uh, yeah, they could like, snub it for that because you know Black I mean? Panther got snubbed for the visual effects. Being the Ricardos was probably 
that this close to an ensemble fucking nomination. close to an ensemble nomination. Mm. Mm. Two lead actors and Cody Smith McPhee stayed in amidst the fucking chaos of that oh, category. Of course and Troy Cotter and Troy Cotter did. The only two solid people so far. The only two. Oh, well, because apparently the Belfast boys are snubbable after all. Ben Affleck, Bradley Cooper. Cool. I don't think both the Belfast boys are going to get into the Oscars. Say bye to Dorian, man, okay? Also, Belfast? That is a complete cap to the knee. Oh, yeah. Well, Power of the Dog didn't get an ensemble nominate. So what's going to win ensemble yeah. then? I think that Belfast still... Because, because remember, Spotlight won ensemble, and they didn't nominate any of the Spotlight boys. House of Fucci! Three nominations for House of Gucci. No movie got more than three nominations. Power of the Dog got three, and that was, and that those are the only two with three. <sighs> I'll be here far down. Rest oh in my peace. God. Rest in peace wow. to Kristen <clears throat> fucking Stewart. Yeah. How is she going to yeah. win now? How is, is she is going Kidman, to win now? Is Kid is Kidman? That's all I'm gonna ask. Is Kidman? They nominated Bardem. They. Do they love being nominated Bardem? That Bill means Kidman wins like the Leonardo fucking Carter. sag. Congratulations. And how could you do this when you have Chastain and Kristen Stewart? How could you do this? And Olivia Coleman's there. Olivia Coleman was there. Olivia Coleman is I safe. did not see that coming. Holy shit. The snub of the fucking century. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That's the biggest snub I can think of. Incredibly before. unjust. Kristen Stewart's performance in Spencer was phenomenal. This is, wow! Wait, does this show like sick. does this show that they still haven't overcome like her Twilight years? Like they're still hung up. I don't still know. Like, or they just were like, like I'm turning off that movie. I want my old version of the royal family. What do we think about Bradley Cooper getting in for liquor? That's pizza? fucked. I don't. I don't understand. Who else got in? Give me this shit. Ben Affleck, Bradley Cooper, Jared Leto. <laughs> That's what happened with the SAGs last year with Bill Murray, no? I believe oh, yeah, it was Critics' Choice. Choice and Golden Globe. Jared Leto last year had the SAG and Golden Globe for the little things. What if Jared Leto wins because they love Stop. House of Gucci that much? No, we already know that Cody Smith McPhee is strong. They nominated um, everybody from Power of the Dog and just not the ensemble. I think that's fine. Yeah, but House of that's Gucci. Like House of Gucci got ensemble when you had Jared Leto in a different movie. Adam Driver, like, not his best shit. And I love the guy, but it's not his best shit. You had a bunch of other people who were just like, eh. And you're nominating it for ensemble? I, I get why, because there's so many performances, and everybody kind of has their own favorite. But wow, they loved House of Gucci. Wow, they loved Jerry Leto. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm surprised at this point J.K. Simmons didn't get in. In fact, the <laughs> fact that Javier Bardem got in, and, and then J.K. Simmons doesn't get in, even when the supporting actor category stems both Belfast boys, like, I, I don't know what to say about that. Maybe that J.K. Simmons isn't so strong. J.K. Simmons not getting in, Interesting. Honestly, Bradley Cooper could do and, it. And Bra important. Bradley Cooper might. Affleck. Is he? Is that, Affleck. That's always been like a Bill Murray on the yeah, rocks, Jared Leto. It's like you get a couple things, but you're not even close to the Cooper, Oscar. Like, yeah. like Affleck is not going to make the BAFTA shortlist, and then you'll, you'll see that. I would say Belfast took the biggest hit here. However, this reminds me of Spotlight, does it not? I believe the SAGs snubbed both the Spotlight boys. They did. And it's still one ensemble. Rachel McAdams was nominated. Still at the SAGs, I believe. And it went on to to still get nominated for Supporting Actress, Supporting Actress at the Oscars. I'm telling you that Dornan's out. As I said, with the critics groups, they've been showing that like they like Hines and they don't really care about Dornan anymore. You know what I think is going to happen is Kieran Hines is going to get nominated for the BAFTA. Yeah, that's also what and I'm And then Bel Dornan will be snubbed for Belfast at the Oscars. I know. That's what I'm Katrina saying. Katrina Balfe is still in. She's very strong. Ingenue Ellis, that fucking... Ridic that fucking ripped my that's soul out. Ridiculous. Ruth Nega, oh, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. Ruth Nega, Ruth though. Nega. That is... She's locked in now. That's, like, totally in. Like, she's totally she in. Got, she gets Golden Globe and SAG. Critics' choice was fucking weird. Why wouldn't you nominate her? You're the critics. Weird. Fluke, fluke, fluke. Like, she might get BAFTA, BAFTA, too. she'll get BAFTA. Jennifer... Hudson. That could be just a You know what's thing? fucking interesting? But we kind of... Is you look at the top... You look at those top five and you don't know who's snubbable. Like, we didn't know who was snubbable. It was everybody's top five for actress. Who the fuck knew that they would snub Kristen Stewart, the perceived frontrunner? That's fucked. That's Kidman really fucked is soaring and I don't like yeah, it because I, I want well. Chastain to get a first Oscar or Kristen Stewart. Like... Either of them, like, please, over Nicole Kidman. We don't need her to I win think, a second I think it. Kristen Stewart still gets the Oscar nomination, but she oh, is not winning. I think she so. She is not winning. And it's kind of like how it's they snubbed Amanda Seyfried. Amanda Seyfried. Her frontrunner status goes bye-bye. It goes bye-bye. I might just say, like, the Oscars might not nominate Hudson. And then they'll nominate Stewart. Because well, Coleman say. 
is doing extraordinary well also for a movie that I don't think will appeal to everybody. Marley Matlin didn't get in, but Coda is still doing really fucking well. Troy Kotzer. Very, very much a lock. Troy Kotzer could uh, pull off the win here, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Now, Dinklage also took a hit here. Well, Cyrano's not out yet, so I also wonder if, like, that movie maybe didn't catch on yet with them. I I mean, is Javier Bardem going to repeat? I don't know. And Mass doesn't get a single nomination. It's, It's sad because they did really try to... A single, nomination. solitary nomination. It's sad because they tried. Actually, I really want to see the BAFTA long list now because I really wonder if they made it. That's fucked. That was my last hope for Mask. You know what? If you haven't seen Mask, fucking watch it. It's out. You can rent it. And it's one of the best of the year. House Gucci. Here's so predict for best fucking picture, Cole. You may as well predict it for the fucking PGA, bitch. Is House of Gucci about to get a Best Picture nomination? Is it a possible? I mean, it went up. Like, it's more in the mix than I thought it was. I'm not going to, like, make that leap, though. The SAGs nominate movies. It it might get PGA. (gasps) It might. It might get PGA. Well, you'll have to wait for that shit. Oh, my God. House of Gucci gets nominated for Best Picture. I wanted to see see Robin Day Jesus, and I didn't see it. No. And there's no hope anymore. No. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. How loud was your screaming at the Kristen Stewart snub?